Hello, hello, hello. All right, so when I first came up with the title for this talk, I was like, wow, start, start where you are. That is just, it's so inspirational. It's so wise. Like, it's just really an amazing title for a talk. And then I was like, well, maybe I should just Google it just to, just to make sure it's, it's original. Um, so I Googled it. And I found out that, no, unfortunately, there, there are many, many things that have been published with this very title. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing, but on the other hand, it's so unoriginal, I can still use it, and it's not plagiarism. And I still like it. So here we are at the starting point, and if someone did come up with that um, delightful little phrase, congrats, it's really, it's really good, whoever you are. Um, so I first, heard about Shy Hack Night in early 2016 from an email with the title Mixer Tonight with Nar Nar Shred Town. And the text of that email is included in its entirety right here. And it is not a stretch to say that this email, yes, this very email changed my life. This email that mentions something called the shithole. <laughs> I actually never made it to the shithole, so I don't, it was a very famous improv venue. Um, so I had just moved to Chicago to do improv for a living, and um, since that's not really a thing, I was actually, for money, I was editing internet articles from home on things like the best islands in the Philippines to visit and what different colors of poop mean. Um, please ask me about that later. It was a riveting article. Um, I was lonely, and it was winter, and I was looking for a way to meet people. I just moved from San Francisco, so the tech sector seemed familiar, and I was like, sure, like, a hack night. That sounds fun or something or kind of different. I don't know. I'll try it out. And I had no way of knowing that six years later, Shy Hack Night would be the thing that brought me a community, a new career, and even a life partner. I think I was supposed to flip. Oh, yeah. So that's career. This is the career slide. <laughs> Engineering. And then that's the life partner <laughs> who had to leave, unfortunately, earlier. <laughs> so the first time I, shied, I showed up to Shy Hack Night, I was late. It was a little bit past eight, and everyone was already doing breakout groups, and I was very nervous to be surrounded by all these strangers, and so I, I just went and sat down. I introduced myself, and I was like, I, have, I really don't know what's going on. I'm new here, and then I proceeded to like spew a lot of information at these very kind group leaders about this awesome book I was reading called The Lean Startup, and I told them about MVP, like you the smallest work, amount of work possible. And I was very excited about all of it, I'm sure. They were very annoyed. <laughs> but you know what? That was the first timer's mistake. We all do it. But, you know, at the, I left that event, and I, I didn't really know what had happened. I was kind of in this daze. <laughs> like, wow, I felt exhilarated. I had shy hacked, and I was hooked. So I decided to keep on coming back. And after several months, I got up the courage to co-host, and that turned out to be a gateway drug to being a regular co-host, and then starting a breakout group focused on fun called the Fun Congress. Then I helped see Shy Hackner become a nonprofit, and then I served as a board member. And at the same time, I was starting a career in software engineering, which, by the way, does pay slightly better than improv. And um, I was doing, I went through a boot camp to do that, and like I started working on the in the job market. And then I had also start met I start I met and then started dating my now husband um, at Braintree. I didn't date him there. I mean, not. Not all the dates were there. Some of them were. We did think about that as a wedding venue possibility, but um, it was complicated because of the pandemic. So I didn't really know what I wanted when I started coming to Shy Hack Night. I had just had a sense that this was a good place with interesting people, and I wanted to be around them more and maybe even be like them or like some of them. And there was no agenda that I had aside from the agenda, the holy agenda that governs Shy Hack Night. So, okay, so why the title Start Where You Are, that amazing, incredible, genius title? I was like, well, I feel like I am, once again, like, at some sort of inflection point. You know, it's like, okay, like, so, great, I, I'm married, yay. Software engineer, yay. Like, but, like, what happens now? I feel like I haven't, like, achieved it, whatever it is. And um, I don't know what's next. I don't have to tell anyone in this room about all the terrible things that are happening in the world. And... That's not the point, though. I feel like coming to Shy Hack Night has showed that there are actual helpful ways, not spewing tech solution ways, of being part of pieces of 
a solution. And we'll find out what that's going to be. But I do know that I am in a different place than I was six years ago. I know more, I can do more, and from my time with Try Hack Night, I'm okay with not knowing what the destination is. I just know that I need to stick with the community, and most importantly, stick with the process and just keep on showing up. And the next time that you see an email mentioning the shithole, <laughs> you just might want to pay attention <laughs> because good things can come from emails that mention shitholes. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs>